Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today is Saturday, July 21st, and it is 4.15 my time, Vegas time. And my son just went to the mailbox, and I've got a package. There's a backstory to this, but I will get into the backstory once I open this. This comes to me from Pippa Brown. She has a YouTube channel. And I won this in her subscriber giveaway. The, as I said, the, the backstory does come into this. Um, but she reached out to me because somehow I missed, I watch all of her videos. I love her whip and chats, whether it's diamond painting or whether she's doing an unboxing or her floss tube, because she does both diamond painting and cross stitch. But um, this here was from her subscriber giveaway. And she had two winners. Um, one was for a diamond, and I think if I remember correctly, it was a diamond art club gift card, I think. And the other was for um, this. Please excuse my nails. I've been beating them up. But this was for her 1,000 subscriber giveaway, I think. And I just happen to be one of the lucky winners. So let me get into this. This here is just the information that was on the outside. It has the shipping information, my name, all that stuff. You don't, you don't need that. <clears throat> I'm trying to get this to where her information isn't on here either. One second here, I try to get into this. It's well packaged. I messaged her, she already knows that I received it, but I messaged her to let her know I had gotten it and she was pleased in how it uh, arrived. She said it arrived the same as it was sent, so that was that was good. And it didn't take long to get here, actually. Um, she messaged me on the, um, 18th of July and said that it shipped out and I received it today on the 31st so about two weeks from Australia it's from Tasmania Australia so I'm trying to cut this open to where I said her information as well as mine is not exposed so bear with me here I couldn't find my um, other box cutter thing. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, it's a little more difficult than I thought. It's definitely well packaged, which is really good considering that the postal service is really not being nice with our packages. I have a good postal lady, so um, I don't really have to worry about it. Okay. So, initially, Pippa sent out a Pippa package to me. Pippa is known for her Pippa packages. And she had sent a Pippa package out to me April 3rd. Um, there were several people that received Pippa packages. I happen to be one of them that she shipped it to, and I never received it. Um, like, it never showed up. And I felt horrible because you know, she took the time and spent the money to send it, and it never showed up. It ended up being returned to her, finally, like... Um, she, again, I have to look here. She messaged me. Um, when did she message me? On the 30th of June, she messaged me and said that she uh, finally had received the returned 
failure to deliver package that she sent me. So she sent it to me April 3rd. She got it back June 30th. What? Where? How many times did you go around the world? Unbelievable. So she said that she, while well, she packaged my um, prize, that she was adding my treats. So let's see what we got here. Okay, the tube is empty. I get this go back together here. And there's a card, and then my Pippa package, my original Pippa package. And this is what I won in her um, giveaway or her subscriber giveaway. I've got a Christmas unicorn card. How cute. Wait a minute. I'm not in camera view. How cute. And inside it just says, Mel, have a magical Christmas. Hope you enjoy. Love, Pippa. So don't mind the card. Just reusing old cards. Congratulations on your win. P. Yeah. My grandmother uses all of her old cards, too. There's no sense in wasting cards. Cards cost money. So use them while you can. <clears throat> and you know what? It's Christmas. Christmas in July. Christmas in July. It's perfect. It couldn't be more perfect. Thank you, Pippa. I'm so excited that I won this giveaway. Okay, so first I'm going to do my Pippa package because this is going to be a separate video. I will be doing this as a separate video. But she sent me, ooh, she sent me Twining's Australian Afternoon Tea. I'm not quite sure if, if uh, Pippa realizes I love tea. I'm obsessed with tea, especially in the winter time. Um, yeah, so she sent me the Twining's Tea. There's that. Oh, come off of here. She also sent Redskins candy. Now, I won't be able to eat this because I have braces. My son will definitely want to try it out. And then she sent me the little, um, it's like the little paraffin candies. I think that's what they're called. We, have, we call them snow caps. So it's like a chocolate with little candy sprinkles on top. So the we call them like I said snow caps. You see them in movie theaters a lot. So these are really really good. Uh, my braces are coming off in a couple months. This is going in the freezer. I'm saving this for myself. But this is what she sent me that I will be doing a video on myself. My husband and my son are going to do the Vegemite challenge. This was done a couple years ago. Everybody was doing the Vegemite challenge. I had just gotten into the diamond painting community. And uh, yeah, I tried to order it online and they were always out of it. Um, and then it was quite expensive. But the bad thing is, if we like this, I'm probably going to buy it. So, but this is going to be for another video. So I'm going to set this here off to the side. And um, all this here is, will be part of that. I'll read all that stuff because it, it goes with the Vegemite. Okay. So let me get this out of the way. And this here is my prize that I won in our subscriber giveaway. Okay. Now, I'm... I'm not sure if I'm going to pronounce this correctly, so just bear with me a second because I want to make sure that I do say it right. I think it's a, a nostipin, nostipine. It's a, it's to wind yarn, to help you know, wind your yarn um, for knitting or crocheting. Um, I actually have yarn, so I can kind of demonstrate this a bit. Let's see. Oh. 
just one second here. So what you do is take one here. It's wanting to roll away from me. Uh, of course, it always has to give birth because there's a knot in here somewhere. Let's see if I can pull this through. Okay, it's twisted. Um, I know I've never shown any of my crochet on my channel, but I do crochet. That was actually my first, crocheting was my first love. And then I found diamond painting and um, yeah, I fell down that rabbit hole. And uh, mm -hmm. I've been trying to get back into crocheting, but yeah, it hasn't happened. Okay, so. You tie a slip knot in that here. I'm trying to see where you do this at. This is good. Okay, there's a notch here. Somewhere. Okay. Alright, so. Just bear with me here. So I'm trying. So I'm going to tie this around here above that. Bear with me. I'm trying here. Okay. So I've created a slip knot up here. And then you just take this and wind it around your um, nose, nose to pin. Sorry, it's going to bang. And it helps ball your yarn. Instead of having to use your hand, You just wind it around and it helps make a ball. So a lot of create, uh, crocheters and knitters work better um, when they ball up their yarn. There are yarn winders that you can get, but um, this here works you know and you can do it as a skein you know wind it where you've got the full length of it and then pull it off and you're gonna have a skein or you just keep winding and then my did it get wound in there yeah it did around here we'll pull this out and then afterwards i can cut my yarn and i can pull this off and slide this down and afterwards then if I completed this I'd have a ball and then I would be able to crochet from my slip knot end it would come out the front so I'd have a center pole instead of an outer pole this here you could put it then in a yarn bowl and um, go from there so I hope I explained this properly. That was the gist that I got from it because I've watched um, some YouTube videos after I found out that I won the, the item and I was so excited. I was thrilled when she messaged me and told me that I was a winner. And she said she, in my message that she, in the message she just sent me today, she said she hopes it still smells. Yes, yes it does. Um, Oh, wow. I can't remember what type of wood she said this is, but yes, it does. It smells amazing. And this was hand, if I remember correctly, this was handmade. 
This is Australian wood. So this comes from a tree in Australia. And it smells amazing. Oh, Pippa. I'm trying to... I'm trying to figure out what it smells like. Oh, wow. It's definitely... It's amazing. It is amazing the way it smells. Um, so my yarn is going to smell like this. And I'm okay with that. I am like completely okay with that. <laughs> I would have no, I have no problem with um, what it smells like at all. It's, it's the most incredible I can't, I can't stop smelling it. It is the most incredible smell. Oh, I cannot place what this smells like. It has an earthy, oh man, it has an earthy, woodsy, Almost, I mean, it actually almost had almost a sagey. I don't know. I can't describe it, but I think it smells amazing. And it's beautiful. It is so smooth. There's no, no chance in um, it snagging on the yarn at all. It is very well made. And it just smells so good. It's rounded here on the end here. So it allows you to good, you know, something to hold on to. And then this end here is just, you know, rounded up. I don't know, but I, Pippa, thank you. And you can tell that there was a knot or that was cut in. So you've got that beautiful natural wood to it. It doesn't, they didn't. And put any kind of a polyurethane over it, which is also good because that over a period of time kind of starts to flake off sometimes, you know, crack. This is just well um, sanded and it feels like they sanded it, probably buffed it. But this is absolutely beautiful. It's amazing. I love it. I love that it's you know, from, a, oof, oh, that was loud. I am so sorry. That's the bad part. Having it on a table won't be a good idea. I apologize for everybody's ears that just got blasted out. Um, I will treasure this always. I will always treasure this. Thank you again, Peppa, so much. When I use this, I will think of my friend in Australia. So, that is all for that today. Um, put this away, and I am actually crocheting right now. Um, I have a project I'm working on, oh, but I won't be wrapping my yarn around that one because I am using. Um, hold on one second. I'll grab it. One sec. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. All right, so. This is my current project I'm working on. I just started it the other night and I got a, I did something, I don't know, my stitch counts wrong up here as I'm on this row. But as you can see, this is why I am not going to use that Nostapine or however I pronounce it, because these strands, they are not, it's not worsted, it's, um, I forget the word that they call it, but it's super fine yarn. It's a one and it's just laid side by side. And it comes out of the, if you look, comes out of the skein that way or out of the cake that way. This is the, uh, it's a wrap rainbow. So yeah, I'm afraid if I wrap it around this, it might get tangled. So yeah, but it's color changing. As it comes out, you know, it started off this color, and then they add another strand in a different color to that 
to get that like ombre type effect to it. But that's the only reason I will not be using that Nostapine to uh, wrap this yarn. But I, I am in process of crocheting something. Um, so I'll use the Nostapine on a, you know, a regular worsted yarn or just a, a number two or three. But this, this is just, it's going to, I risk it splitting and tangling so much. So, yeah. I, and I've got to find out where I made my mistake on this. But I am working on that. But get ready for the uh, video here that we will be testing, tasting the uh, Vegemite. My husband might not get into the video. He's not much for that. But my son and I both will. I think we might go ahead and taste it now. So, yeah, get ready for our video. Me and my son are going to do this up, and I will be back in another video. So, I will link video, video. I will link Pippa's uh, channel in the description box. Go over, check her out. Um... Love Pippa's videos. She's a hoot. Sometimes she gets me laughing <laughs> from some of the some of the things she gets herself into. But she's an awesome person. She's a fantastic friend. I appreciate her very much. And um, till next time, which for you guys will be in a few minutes. Till next time, guys. Have a great weekend. Stay safe and. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, guys.